Ozempic is the latest trend sweeping through Hollywood. Ozempic and Wagovi are brand names created by Novo Nordisk. Semaglutide, the active ingredient, received FDA approval for treating obesity in 2021. Similarly, another medication marketed as Munjaro for diabetes has been approved for weight loss under the name Zepbound. All of this might sound kind of confusing, but basically it's diabetes medications being used for weight loss. These drugs suppress appetite, but they can have side effects like muscle loss, nausea, and diarrhea. Initially, it's common for individuals to regain weight if they stop treatment. Demand for these drugs has led to shortages, and while some celebrities have openly admitted to using them to achieve rapid weight loss, others have denied it. Join us as we reveal 10 celebrities who have turned to Ozempic to help transform their physiques and maintain their star-studded appearances. From actors and musicians to comedians, you might be surprised to see who's embraced this latest health craze. Let's get started. First up is Oprah Winfrey. Earlier this year, she openly shared her experience on these medications in an ABC special called Shame, Blame, and the Weight Loss Revolution. For your body and your weight health, it should be yours to own and not to be shamed about it. The TV personality who has openly discussed her struggles with weight throughout her career, she shared that medication she uses, while not specifying which one, helps her maintain a healthy weight. The fact that there's a medically approved prescription for managing weight and staying healthier in my lifetime feels like relief, like redemption, like a gift. It's not something to hide behind and be ridiculed for again. I'm absolutely done with the shaming from others and most importantly from myself, she said. Next is Sharon Osbourne. Osborne has been candid about her weight struggles over the years and recently disclosed that she had used Ozempic to help manage her weight. But recently, she's been looking very skinny and she felt she lost too much weight, deciding to stop using the medication. On an episode of Pierce Morgan's podcast, Sharon said, I've lost 42 pounds and it's just enough. I didn't actually want to become this thin, but it happened and I'll probably gain it all back soon. She also mentioned experiencing nausea as a side effect. She explained, you don't physically throw up, but you feel like it. For about two or three weeks, I felt nauseous all the time. You get very thirsty and don't want to eat. That's it. Tori Spelling. Tori Spelling is another celebrity who revealed she used Ozempic and Munjaro to lose weight after welcoming her sixth child with Dean McDermott. I did Munjaro and everyone admits it now, she said during her misspelling podcast on April 16th. Tori added, I tried Ozempic and it didn't work for me. She explained she was at 160 pounds when she tried the weight loss medication to slim back down to 120 pounds. Tori slowly went off Munjaro in January 2024 after reaching her goal weight. Next on our list is Julia Fox. A celebrity who denies using the medications for weight loss but had a lot of speculation surrounding her. Julia blasted rumors in the last while that she was using Ozempic to maintain her thin frame. The always candid uncut gem star said on her podcast that she would never take the drug, which is meant for people with diabetes for weight loss, because there are patients who genuinely needed to live. So following this, we have a celebrity who is much more candid and open about using Ozempic, Tracy Morgan. The funny man appeared on Today with Hoda and Jenna in August 2023 and humorously addressed his use of Ozempic. Hoda remarked to Tracy about how he'd been working on his body and his health, to which Tracy replied, no, that's Ozempic, that's how weight got lost. Although it initially seemed like a joke, he later confirmed it was true, saying, I went and got a prescription for Ozempic and I'm not letting it go. During a March 2024 appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Morgan shared he'd gained weight while on Ozempic. He joked, I've learned to out-eat Ozempic. I out-ate Ozempic. I've gained 40 pounds. It's unclear if Morgan's still taking the medication, but research shows that gaining weight after stopping the weight loss drug is common. We already saw her mom on this list, but next up is Kelly Osborne. She called the Ozempic trend amazing during an interview in February 2024. Kelly said, There are a million ways to lose weight. Why not do it through something that isn't as boring as working out? People hate on it because they want to do it, and the people who hate on it the most are the people who are secretly doing it or pissed off that they can't afford it. Unfortunately, right now, it's something that is very expensive, but eventually it won't be because it actually works. 
The star didn't confirm whether she's taken the drug, but she has previously shared with fans details of her 85 pound weight loss due to gastric sleeve surgery. The seventh star on this list is Amy Schumer. While chatting with Andy Cohen in June 2023, Amy Schumer revealed that she had tried Ozempic about a year prior, but quickly stopped due to the side effects. She said, I was one of the people who felt sick. I couldn't even play with my son. Despite seeing some results, Schumer decided it wasn't worth continuing the medication. You realize, okay, this isn't sustainable for me, but I immediately invested because I knew. Everyone and their mom is going to try it, she explained. The comedian also urged other celebrities to be more transparent about their use of Ozempic or similar medications. She said, Everybody's lying saying those smaller portions, shut the F up. You're on Ozempic or something similar. Just be real with people. Speaking of being real with people, Khloe Kardashian is a celebrity who famously denies the use of Ozempic or any kind of medication for weight loss. But do we believe that? Chloe had revealed in the past that she lost 80 pounds after giving birth to her daughter, True Thompson, in 2018. The 39-year-old reality star attributed her weight loss to her pre-pregnancy lifestyle and the dietary changes, like cutting out soda. This helped her shed the extra pounds after weighing over 200 pounds postpartum. Many fans still speculate Chloe has used weight loss drugs for assistance. In 2023, she clapped back again to commenters on Instagram that accused her of taking Ozempic, saying, let's not discredit my years of working out. I get up five days a week at 6 a.m. to train. Please stop with your assumptions. I guess New Year's still means mean people. Next on the list is actress and comedian Rebel Wilson. The actress, known for her role in Pitch Perfect, previously shared her journey of losing 77 pounds during her year of health in 2020 and revealed she used Ozempic to help manage her weight. I used to have an insatiable craving for sweets, Rebel told the Sunday Times in an article mentioning she no longer relies on the type 2 diabetes drug. But she did say she thinks those medications can be beneficial. While the 44-year-old attributed her weight loss to changes in exercise and diet, she highlighted that her initial motivation came from her doctor's advice, who suggested it would improve the, her chances of successful IVF. Rebel later welcomed her daughter Royce too through a surrogate. Rebel continued, I strongly believe young women shouldn't feel pressured to resemble Victoria's secret models. They should embrace their own unique selves. I recognize that my relationship with food is complex. Finally, we have Kelly Clarkson. The singer has turned heads recently for her dramatic and seemingly quick weight loss. In May 2024, the singer and TV hosts addressed rumors about her weight loss being due to Ozempic and denied taking it. Speaking on The Kelly Clarkson Show, Clarkson explained that her motivation to lose weight came after not recognizing herself on TV and weighing in at 203 pounds. She clarified she never used Wegovy or Manjaro either, saying, My doctor chased me for two years and I was like, No, I'm afraid of it. I I already have thyroid problems. Everybody thinks it's Ozempic, it's not. But Clarkson mentioned she had been taking a different unnamed medication, explaining it's something else that helps break down the sugar. My body doesn't do it right. I had to start it because my blood work got so bad. Clarkson also noted she'd been following a healthy high protein diet as recommended by her doctor. As we can see from this video, Ozempic has taken Hollywood by storm. Celebrities from all walks of life seem to have been entertaining the idea of using one of these diabetes medications to help them with their weight loss. Now, what do you guys think? Did any stars on this list surprise you? Or were there any that I missed? Because I'm sure there was. Let me know your perspective on whether you think such methods are effective or if this whole thing just seems too vain. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Kara the Vampire Slayer, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel wherever you're watching this video. I'll see you all next time. Bye.